Hello and welcome to Daily Devotions here at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Jacob Garrison. Our reading for today comes from Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. And this is the gospel reading for the 14th Sunday after Trinity. On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In our reading for today, We come across some lepers, and yeah, I know you've heard of lepers before. They're popping up, it seems like, pretty often in the Gospels. And to give some context for leprosy, and for lepers in particular, where you want to go to learn more is Leviticus chapters 13 and 14 in the Old Testament. Reading through Leviticus 13 and 14, you'll find out very quickly that there is very particular laws and rules for God's people, Israel, for the Jews, as to how to deal with lepers. If there was a certain amount of disease on their skin, if it was a certain level deep in their skin, or if they turned their hair a different color, then priests had to do different things to help cleanse them or set them aside or at a certain time actually kick them totally out of the community. So it's no surprise that Even in Jesus' time, it's a big deal whenever there's lepers around because they were supposed to be cast out from the community. However, here's Jesus, per usual, doing something a little bit different. At other times, we see him seemingly changing the laws concerning the Sabbath. And here, we see him acting differently concerning the healing of lepers. Because while Jesus says to them, after they beg for his mercy, to go visit the priests, and that's what they were supposed to do under the Old Testament law, was to go show themselves to the priests and offer various sacrifices to the priests before God to cleanse them. Instead, we see with the Samaritan, the outsider, what was actually proper to do after being cleansed. And this was to come back to Jesus. No longer did these people, (laughs) did anyone, any of us, need to offer some sort of a sacrifice before God, such as a ram or a, a goat or a lamb. Instead, like John the Baptist says, we have one lamb who takes away the sin of the whole world. Lepers were supposed to be cast out of the community because they weren't right before God. We know that none of us are actually right before God. All of us are tainted with sin and death, and we deserve separation from God forever. Thanks be to God that Jesus comes. He speaks words to us to heal us through the absolution, through saying, Take, eat, this is my body, this is my blood, given for the forgiveness of your sins. He speaks words to us all the time through the Bible about how he has taken care of everything for us. And the only thing that we can do in return after hearing and believing, that's what Jesus commends the Samaritan for, believing, having faith, is to offer worship to him. 
Jesus cleanses us. Our faith is the thing that clings to it. And then we just live a life of worship to him forever. And this is what it's going to be like forever. Jesus taking care of us and providing for every need. Thanks be to God. Amen.